Hi, I want to talk a little bit about marker tracks. So whenever you make like a big song and you have all these kind of sections and song structure and a lot of tracks, it could be kind of hard to get a good bird's eye view sometimes. So what marker tracks helps marker tracks help you do is kind of just get a visual clue of like here's a verse, here's the chorus, here's the bridge, here's the guitar solo, and all that kind of stuff. So it's really handy. So in Cubase, it's just a separate track, just like all the other tracks. So you right click here and you go to add marker track. And the way marker tracks work is there are two separate kinds of tracks. One is just a general marker. So we just press that, boop, and we have marker number one. And we can just go someplace else and we have marker number two and marker number three. And then the other kind of uh, marker is a cycle marker. So that's more of a, a region. So if we would like select this region, we can hit the cycle marker and we get the a marker with a start and end. So personally, I have not found that big of use of these yet. I usually just use the, uh, the regular marker ones. So, but good to know that they exist. So when we have these markers, so now it's just like one, two, and three, that's not super helpful. But whenever we have the marker track selected, we get this portion on the side over here. So that lets us, I don't know why they made it so difficult to just put a name on the marker, but if you're on this section and you scroll, here's a description field. So you can go like, hey, intro and verse and pre-chorus or whatever the sections are. Uh, another way to put down the markers is if you just hover your mouse here and hold alt, you get this pen and you can place markers like that. Or if you hold control, you can do the um, cycle markers. So usually what I like to do, like if, uh, for instance, if someone sends me a new track and I need to go through and kind of make sense of it. I open this menu here, which is like the, um, the editor for the market tracks. So while we are in here, we can just hit insert to make a new marker and that would automatically select the description field. So you can just start typing and hit insert and start typing and hit insert. So that way you can just kind of hit play on the song and just kind of step through it. So let me just show you that real quick. If we go to like over here, maybe let's do from here. We don't tremble. We don't care. We don't tremble in warfare. We don't tremble, we are fair, we are the lightning And that's kind of how you can just step through it and get a, get a sense of what the song is doing. Now, there's one thing to note here. This is just a regular track, just like anything else. So if, if we had like a bunch of audio tracks, Sorry, let's make actually even more duplicate poof. And we found ourselves needing to scroll. We also scroll away from the markers because they're just a track, just like everything else. So what I like to do is there's a little feature on this tiny icon up here called divide track list. It's this little thing. Let's see if you can even see it. There we go. That little thing over there. So wait, wait, let's give it this one. So if I click that, let's not have anything selected and I click it and it creates this like separate section that scrolls independently from everything else. So if I were to like take a bunch of other tracks in there, you'll see that I can scroll this one or I can scroll this one. 
and they work independently. So what I usually like to do, let's remove all these stupid tracks, is like just keep this section for the markers and nothing else. That way I can always make sure that I see the markers no matter how much I scroll. So let's just through by duplicating those again and I scroll and I scroll and I can still see the markers. So that's how I usually work with markers. Uh, I hope you found that useful. That's it for now. Have a good one.